Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best laptops for students in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these laptops, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 is the Asus VivoBook F510 UA. The Asus VivoBook F510 UA is one of the most purchased student laptops that you can find in the market and I'm sure you've seen this name popping up numerous times in the internet as a highly recommended option. So let's find out the reason behind its success. Design-wise, this model sports a thin construction that is covered with a glossy coating that mimics aluminium. And if you ask me, it's definitely a good touch because it gives a great look to the overall aesthetics. When it comes to connectivity ports, they consist of two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.0 port and an HDMI port, which is cool for your student work because it will be easier for you to connect to your smartphone and other devices while the laptop is working. In addition, the keyboard has a decent amount of key travel and according to users, it's responsive and comfortable to type on, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. On the other side, the touchpad is highly responsive as well, and what I really like about it is the presence of a fingerprint sensor located on the top right corner of the touchpad, due to the fact that it will add a layer of security, so no one except you should be able to use the laptop. But now, let's talk about performance. The F510 UA has an Intel Core i5-8250U processor, 8GB of RAM, 1TB hard drive, which is awesome for the price you pay, considering the fact that the current hardware makes this laptop quick and responsive, so you can use it for a variety of purposes. Moving on, this unit also has 15.6 inch anti-glare IPS display with a resolution of 1920x1080 pixels. And what's interesting about it is that it actually has a nano edge display with an 80% screen to body ratio so you'll have an excellent view regardless of what you're doing. Moreover, the battery life can handle up to 5 hours of usage which is enough for your college related purposes. But of course, you can always plug in the charger if you need more. To conclude, I strongly recommend you consider the Asus VivoBook F510A because it is affordable but performs indeed premium. At number 4, it's the Microsoft Surface Laptop First Generation. When it comes to Microsoft, we know that this brand is well known for its quality products and performance that give you a really enjoyable experience. Of course, the Surface Book was a real success, but now Microsoft says that it's targeting students with the Surface Laptop, and that's because it comes standard with Windows 10 S, a new streamlined version of the operating system that runs apps only from the Windows Store. From a design perspective, this laptop comes in four different colors, so you can choose between platinum, burgundy, cobalt blue, and graphite gold. But either way, all of them look stunning and stylish. Considering the connectivity ports, well, what you get is a full-sized USB 3 port, as well as a mini display port for connecting an external monitor. The Surface Connect port on the right side is a proprietary connector that offers power, video and data and it's also compatible with the Surface Dock. In addition, the keyboard on this laptop will give you one of the best typing experiences yet. Since it offers you a fairly deep 1.4mm of key travel with a soft touch Elkantara deck, so as you can see, you'll be really well supplied with comfort and quality. Ok, so let's talk about performance. The Surface Laptop is amazingly fast with our chosen configuration. It features a 7th generation Core i5 processor, 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD. Though its SSD could be a bit faster, but again it's just my personal opinion and I don't think it'll be a problem for you. Moving on, one measure of performance is just how quickly you can get back to work from sleep. Surface Laptop does a great job on this front. Thanks to the work Microsoft has done on the Windows Hello feature, which leverages the webcam for facial recognition, most of the time I got logged in as soon as I was facing the lid, and that's fast. 
Moreover, battery life can last from 8 to up to 10 hours, but of course it all depends on your usage, whether you're browsing, watching movies or working on standard tasks. Overall, this laptop is definitely a must-have for the price. At number 3, it's the Apple MacBook Air. The newest Apple MacBook Air would be an extremely good option if you want to invest in a laptop that has enough power to substitute your desktop PC thanks to the presence of the 8th generation i5 processor and the numerous technologies included which will elevate your user experience to a whole new level. When it comes to design, this unit comes in three different colors from which you can choose, such as Space Gray, which we're currently reviewing, Silver, and Gold. But either way, all of them look stunning in their own way. The Air's iconic wedge design is intact, helping the machine stand out from other laptops. In addition, Apple's making these new MacBook Airs out of its own 100% recycled aluminum, but you couldn't tell from using the device. Considering the connectivity ports, the MacBook Air sports two Thunderbolt 3 ports on its left side with a headphone jack on its right. That can be counted as an upgrade from the MacBook's singular, slower USB Type-C port, but it's lacking in comparison to most competitors, so this is maybe my only remark I have regarding this product. Moving on, in the top right-hand corner of the keyboard, you'll see a Touch ID fingerprint reader which I found works great for unlocking the MacBook Air and signing into one password, which in any case is my preferred password manager. Meanwhile, on top of Sporting Touch ID, this is the first MacBook Air with the T2 security chip that Apple's adding to as many Mac OS machines as it can. Performance-wise, this unit boasts a dual-core 8th generation Core i5 processor with Intel UHD Graphics 617, which is great in my opinion, since it covers pretty much any task you would intend to do during your studies or work. It also has a fast SSD storage and a great 8GB of RAM that will elevate your experience to a whole new level. The 2560 by 1600 pixel retina display is the true star of the new MacBook Air, offering crisp detail and solid colors. Moreover, the battery life may last up to 12 hours of usage if you're browsing or doing casual work, but if you watch movies or use the laptop for more processor power tasks, then the battery life may be reduced to somewhere around 8 to 9 hours. But either way, it's still pretty great. To conclude, you should definitely take this laptop into consideration since it shines with elegance and performance. At number 2, it's the Huawei MateBook X Pro. The Huawei MateBook X Pro is among the best laptops currently on the market and users are constantly purchasing it because of many reasons, but one of the biggest is its sharp 2K display and impressively beautiful look that reminds me of a MacBook. From a design perspective, this particular model sports a space grey machined aluminium body that's highly portable due to the fact that its crafting components make it extremely lightweight. Once you open the lid, you'll find a water-resistant keyboard that houses a fingerprint reader of which you can always take advantage in order to access the system without setting a password. In addition, the keys are soft and offer a fantastic feedback, so you'll never have any problems while typing. However, my only remark is that it isn't backlit, and I do really think that Huawei should have considered this. Slightly below the keyboard, there's a large, highly responsive touchpad on which you can always rely, since it's capable enough to drastically ease your navigation. Moreover, the connectivity ports are composed of two USB-C ports, a headphone jack, an HDMI port, and a VGA port, which is pretty good. Now let's talk about features. This particular model is armed with an Intel Core i5 processor, has 8GB of RAM and 256GB SSD, which means you can have dozens of apps running at the same time without noticing even a slight difference in terms of performance. Another great thing about this laptop is its 13-inch 2K IPS display that's accompanied by a 4.4mm narrow bezel that offers 88% screen-to-body ratio so the visuals you see will be nearly perfectly defined. 
For your information, the display is protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass as well, which I particularly like since it can dramatically strengthen its protection, so scratches and accidental drops shouldn't worry you again. Before we end, I'd also like to inform you that the battery is rated at 8 hours of usage, however this may vary in practice. Nonetheless, it's pretty good. Overall, the Huawei MateBook X Pro is worth considering, so give it a try and assure yourself of its quality. And at number 1, it's the Asus ZenBook UX550. The Asus ZenBook Pro is something else in the line of the ZenBook family which means it's a large, powerful 15.6-inch machine that wants to challenge the MacBook Pro. Design-wise, this unit is a well-built laptop with a solid unibody aluminium design and diamond-cut silver edges. The lid is also etched with a familiar pattern of concentric circles, while the display sports relatively thin bezels. Asus calls this its nano-edge display, and it gives a more elegant look. When it comes to connectivity ports, they're located at the rear half of both sides. You get two regular USB 3.0 ports as well as two modern Thunderbolt 3 ports with a USB Type-C connector. Picture output as well as network functionality via adapter is supported, but the two ports cannot be used to charge the internal battery. In addition, the slot for the micro SD card is located on the right side, so, as you can see, you'll be well equipped with pretty much everything you need. Moving on, Asus has implemented a black chiclet keyboard with white letters, which results in good contrast. You can also use a white background for illumination with three levels of intensity in darker environments. The keys have a rather shallow travel of 1.5mm, but the keystroke is very even and the feedback is OK as well. Let's talk about performance. The Intel Core i7-7700HQ is a very popular processor for high-end multimedia and gaming laptops. Its four cores could run at up to 3.4 GHz under load via Turbo Boost and provides plenty of performance for any kind of application, which shouldn't change over the next couple of years. In other words, the ZenBook Pro UX550 performs very well in the benchmarks which indicated an excellent turbo utilization. The processor performance is not reduced on battery power, which is great in my opinion, since if you were in the middle of something, you wouldn't have to worry about a problem with speed should your battery be low. Moreover, Asus ships the UX550 with either a 4K screen or the full HD display. Of course, it's optional. To conclude, the UX550 is a high-end laptop with premium features and performance and that will probably set the blueprint for future laptops that this brand will make. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.